later, I'm in the only room in the house where a boy of nine could sit in privacy and decode. <laughs> so last night, the fake news media was trying to get everybody all hyped up about some special guests that was going to appear before Kamala Harris spoke. And everyone was let down just like Ralphie with his decoder ring. Aha, B! <laughs> I'm sure you guys have read all the headlines, all the stuff on social media about who's going to be at the DNC. Is it going to be Beyonce? Is it going to be Taylor Swift? I went to the next. E. Here's what I hear from sources. If it's going to be anyone, it would be Beyonce. The first word is B. S. It was coming easier now. Taylor Swift and George W. Bush speaking. The fate of the planet may hang in the balance. Those would be the heavy hitters. And it could happen. I'm just saying. It was almost clear. Anticipation here and elsewhere that there may be a special guest. I am told uh, by Democrats that Kamala Harris was their guest. Be sure to drink your oval tea. They did not want a celebrity at the end of this convention to essentially compete with her. A crummy commercial? One senior advisor telling me this is a deadly serious election. And if you looked at the end of this uh, program, having uh, Leon Panetta come on, the former defense secretary, really presenting Vice President Harris as a uh, plausible commander in chief, that is one of the reasons I'm told that there was not a celebrity performance at the end. Son of a I went out to face the world again, wiser. You know, I've been hearing more and more about a thing called fake news. Fake, fake, 